Hey guys, I actually found the Michael Bible chat. I've scrolled right back through. Can't believe this profile's still got a name on it. So it goes with, hello, says Michael Bible. I said, hi there. Why are you pretending to be Buble, a happily married man that I can guarantee I know more about than you do? Thanks for liking my page, the support you showered on me. I hope you never stop listening to my music, question mark, he says. I said, I guess you don't read my message, so I'll just type nonsense. The music is perfect in a cube transcendental. I am so happy knowing I have such loving fans like you out here. It's a pleasure having you here on my contact list, and I hope to always hear from you. Synonymous synapses aligning in the quantum caused all sorts of chaos in the field, I informed him. You may wonder, as famous as I am, I still have time for chat. But the truth is, I am a human. I treat everyone with respect. I hope we can meet each other in person someday, he says. So I respond with, that's nice, underwater transcendental chairlifting. I'm a busy man, he says. I do not chat often because I hardly have the time, but I meant you out of my short free time. I'm a man with great sense of humour and I believe meeting you was not by chance, but divine. I said, that's great that the cubism fellow string theory in a pumpkin is such a joy. And he goes, with this step of trust and willingness to begin this friendship, I would love us to talk more on WhatsApp. It's more safe and private to chat on WhatsApp because I get so many messages from fans on Instagram. To which I say, that's amazing that this medium is sufficient to allow such transgressions without negating the pumpkin pie. To which he says, are you on WhatsApp? I said, no. Why are you not on WhatsApp? I said, I don't give my number out online to people I don't know. So you don't know me and you're my fans? I said, I don't know who you are. Who, I, I don't know you are who you claim you are, seeing as you don't read messages. I have chat. What chat? I said, Google chat. Okay, send me your email address so that I can add you up on there. I said, this will be interesting, won't it? The last few minutes certainly were entertaining. Let's see how you cope with this. And sent him my email. Fair warning, I think you're in over your head, but okay. Good to see irony isn't wasted on you. Okay, he says, I will text you on Google Chat. I said, the cube cites the best in the triangular nexus of the washing line. See you there. I have text you on Google Chat now. Have you seen my message there? I said, I saw a message from Michael Bible. Talky, it's that you with your stupendous grasp of the mother tongue. <laughs> I said, let's chat on Google Chat now, he says. I said, Bible? What's that? I said, is you, right? You wrote it. And then we moved on to that chat that I just posted. So that's how that started. What a muppet. Anyway, bye.